so I decided to bring y'all something a little different today. Today we're going to, in the kitchen with the bishop, going to be showing y'all how to make a breakfast casserole and one of my personal recipes, and I hope y'all enjoy it. So this is a little different. Just going to show y'all how Bishop Big Country throws down in the kitchen. Now here's a basic overview of what y'all folks going to be needing to get this done with. First of all, you're going to need some eggs. Not quite this, quite this many. I just got them out so they'll be handy. Now, I prefer to use sriracha, but you can, if you ain't got sriracha, you can use Texas peat or red hot. Some brown mustard some horseradish, some Worcestershire sauce, and of course some pesto. You're going to definitely need pesto. Uh, you're going to need some Parmesan cheese and some cream cheese, and mozzarella if you have it. Mozzarella isn't required. And of course salt, garlic, pepper, oregano, and dill beet. So just a quick overview. And of course you will need to make the pie crust. There you go, just a basic overview. And of course, can't forget the most important thing, the sausage. Now, you can use whatever kind of sausage you want. I'm using just regular cheap breakfast sausage. Uh, you can use uh, Bobby Dean or Jim Dean or whatever you call it. Or you can use bratwurst or cane sausages. I'm just using what I've got. Now, what y'all going to want to go ahead and do with your oil here is you want to go ahead and put a two tablespoons, not three tablespoons of butter and mix it with what sausage grease you have. Now, also what you want to do is then you want to go ahead and throw some Worcestershire sauce and use your own judgment and you want to go ahead and throw about uh, two or three, no, two teaspoons of horseradish in there. Now be sure whenever you get it all in there, you, you, you mix it up really well. Now what y'all folks is going to want to do with your pie crust, you want to use a cup and a half of flour, all purpose, if you use all purpose, be sure to use baking soda or you can use just your run of the mill normal people flour that most of us use. But after you do that, after you've got your oil all mixed up there, you got see, you got your oil in there, and I uh, said, I said, you got you some horseradish, just a little bit of horseradish, and a little bit of pesto in there. Make sure it's mixed up real good where it's about that color. Now then, you just pour that in. Now what you want to do is you want to reach down here with your hands, and you want to knead this. Not exactly, yeah, and you want to knead it to where you get a good consistency and a good color. And I'll be right back to show y'all right after I'm through with this. Now what you want to do after you get it about, now it should, should be white, it should be a little bit darker, it should be a really light yellow color. What you want to do is you want to add about half a cup of water. Get you, now once you get your pie dough mixed up here, it should be nice, about this consistency, about the consistency of Play-Doh, since that's what it is. You should be able to clean up the bow with it. Now, as I said, you should be able to clean up the bow with it. Part I'm fixing, now this next part I'm fixing to do here is strictly left up to you. Whenever you're rolling up the dough for the pie crust, you have your option to use a rolling pin or not to. I'm not going to be using one, so that's completely up to you. Now, once y'all folks get your pie crust done, it should look semi like this, round or square, depending on the kind of pan you're fixing to use. So just make sure you got it nice and even throughout. You don't really want a lot of lumps, and you want it to be pretty even all the way through, or it'll cook differently in different areas. So y'all yeah, just remember that. Now once you get that sucker in the pan, it should look semi like this, and if you got any bare spots, what you do is just pinch off some from an area where you got it more thicker and kind of fill it in there. But this isn't really important, and once you get to that point, it's just aesthetic looking. Now what you also want to be sure to do is spray this down with some kind of canned cooking spray or brush some olive oil on it, just to give it some extra flavor and make it light and fluffy. So y'all, regarding your eggs, just use your best judgment depending on what size pie you're making. Now, I chose to use eight because I like a lot of eggs. You can use more or less, just kind of depending on the size of the pot, how many you're feeding and such and such. So at this point, this is where you add your Worcestershire sauce, your brown mustard, your hot sauce, and all your spices, oregano, dill weed, and parsley. But this is also the point where you would add your Parmesan cheese, use however much you want, I use a lot, and cream cheese and mozzarella and any kind of other cheese you might want to use. Now at this point folks you want to go ahead and cook your sausage. Now just throw it in there then you can cut it up while you're doing it. I would suggest using a knife, use a spatula, but it's just what I have on hand. So this is where you cook your sausage. Now if you want to whenever you're cooking your sausage you can throw a little bit of whatever you want to in there just to kind of give it some extra flavor. I would suggest throwing some just regular yellow mustard in there. Now you want your sausage to be semi done. You don't want it to be all the way done. You want it to be a little over halfway there. You want because you want to definitely do some cooking in the oven so it gets everything, all the nice juicy flavors of the eggs and the taters and stuff in there. So at this point, it's time to go ahead and throw your sausage in your pot here. I just kind of throw it in there, level it out real good, make it look real nice and pretty. Make sure you get this chunked up nice and small. Well, you don't really have to, but it's kind of preferable doing whatever y'all want to do. And just make sure you get it in there where it's supposed to be. 
So boys, once you get the sausage in there like that, it's time for your third and final part. Time for you to add your egg mixture. Now this is about what it's looking like. Now remember, in here's where you got your cheeses. Got eight eggs, I do. Plus, uh, you got some pesto, you got some horseradish, you got some salt, pepper, some garlic, and old Bishop Big Country secret Old Bay seasoning. Now you might be thinking, well, Old Bay might not go with this kind of food. Boys, Old Bay seasoning goes with anything. I just tell you. Now what you want to do is you just want to get that over here nice and even. You don't want to get more in one spot than another. Now what that egg and cheese is going to do is that's going to get down there and go down to the bottom. And what's going to do is it's going to create a good even flavor. You're going to have a good even. And that's about what it should look like. Now those big curds you see there, that's the cream cheese. Now if you're poor like me and you can't afford that fancy stuff, well, use whatever kind of cheese you got. But now this right here, this cream cheese, I highly suggest Because what that's going to do is if you're lucky, you're going to get like a little crust right over there on the top of it. Be kind of a burnt flavor to it. Now, boys, that's what you need. Now it's time to put this sucker in the oven. Now, I know I just tell you, time to put it in the oven. Now, old Bishop Big Country's fixing to shoot straight with y'all. Whenever I, whenever you put it in the oven, I ain't gonna tell you to put anything there a certain time because everybody's oven's different. Now, my oven, I'm gonna throw it in there for about 30 minutes, and if it's done, I'll put it in there a little bit longer. Now, here's the deal: put it in there till it's done. Whatever, however you think your oven will take. You're not stupid. I got faith in you. However you think your oven will take while you're making this, that's how long it will take. And whenever you do, throw it on the table. Say a prayer to the good Lord above in the name of Jesus and shout out. This has been Big Country. Remember, the Lord loves you and I love you. Hold it down, y'all.